Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode 26. We are continuing on with our discussion on the rules module from the past two episodes. So if you haven't watched those and you want to get a introduction on the basics of rules and rules components, you should watch those two episodes. As always, I'm Shane from CodeKarate.com. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, sign up for the newsletter. All right, the rules. What are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about scheduling different rules after a specific event has occurred. In this example, we're going to walk through the rule scheduler module a little bit, and we're going to give one example of how you can set it up to automatically publish content after a specific period of time. So let's say you create a post and you want it to automatically publish an hour later, for instance, or a day later. Uh, you can go ahead and follow this example and you'll be able to do that. One thing I want to stress is on the project slash rules page on Drupal.org of the rules module, there's a read documentation link down here. If you're interested in learning more, you should definitely go there. It's a very well-documented module with a lot of examples. And this and what I'm going to walk through here is just based off of one of those examples. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing is you need to download rules and all of the necessary modules to run those. I think C tools is needed maybe. We'll go ahead and scroll down to rules or excuse me, entity API is needed. So if you go ahead and you enable the rules scheduler module and you hit save configuration, the rules scheduler module will be enabled. I already had the rules and the rules UI modules enabled, so you'll need to make sure you have those on as well. And we're going to go ahead and click on configure on rules scheduler. Uh, this brings you to a page. You can ignore that air it's a different module you can this brings you to a page that's going to list all the different rules that you have to be scheduled to be that are going to be run in the future the first step of what we're going to do here is we're going to build a component and in this case we're going to build an action set and th what we want this action to do is we want this action to actually publish a specific piece of content when it's run So I'm going to call this publish content action and I'm going to select node as the data type because we're going to publish a specific node. The label I'm going to say node to publish. Give it a machine name. Leave this as it is and go ahead and hit continue. Now we want to add an action and in this case we go ahead and we scroll down under node and hit publish content. In this data selector we're going to click on it and select our node to publish and hit save and this is going to go ahead and publish the content when this is run. So we'll save that and we'll come back to this rules page. If you come over to components you can see that we have this publish content action that's the action set now we're going to build a rule. So on the rules page we clicked add rule. So we're going to call this publish unpublished content after one hour. You can name that whatever you want so you know what it is. And we're going to execute this rule or trigger this rule after saving new content. I'm going to hit save the event is after saving new content, a condition, we'll go ahead and add one and we'll click content is published and it's going to automatically bring in the node and we want to negate this. So this is basically saying content or content is not published. So if you're saving the content and it's not published, then we're going to perform an action. And in this case, we're going to scroll down to rules scheduler and we're going to select schedule component evaluation and we're going to select our component which is publish content action we're going to hit continue 
and now we have to select a scheduled evaluation date. If you read this, it'll tell you you could set a specific time, or you can use uh, any other values like plus one day, plus one hour, things like that. And you can read that to find out some more. So we'll go ahead and do plus one hour here, just as an example. As the identifier, we want to show what node is going to be published. So we copy this replacement pattern in here. I'm going to say node, node ID. And we could even go as far as adding the node title on there as well. And I'll show you what where this is going to show up here in a second. And the node to publish is the created content. Go ahead and hit save. Now what this says is after you're, you save new content, if it is not published, it's going to schedule this action that we created to run. And this action that we created was, of course, to publish content. It's going to take this piece of saved content, it's going to queue it up, and then when cron is executed after that one hour has passed, then it will get run and it'll go ahead and be published. The thing to make sure you have set up is a running cron so it runs periodically. And depending on how you set it up, you may want to run it, you know, as as many, you know, as every 15 minutes or maybe a couple times a day. However, depending on your site, it can vary. It certainly doesn't hurt to have it run more often besides the fact that it adds a little bit of extra load on your website. So let's go ahead and let's test this out. So I'm going to go to add new content. I'm going to add an article. Call it test unpublished article. Add a little bit of a body. And in the publishing options, I'm going to make sure it's not published. I will hit save. So I went ahead and it's been created. So I'll come over here to my rules, click on schedule, and you'll notice that now there's an entry here. It says rules publish content action. That's the component that's going to be run. The schedule date of when it's going to be run, which is about an hour from now. Or ex well, let me see here. Note that looks like it might be the current time. Well, no, okay. That should be the time it should be run, I believe, but I don't know. My, I think the time on my server may be off, so I'm not exactly sure on that. But it says node 18, which is the node ID, and the title of the article, and also an operation to delete it. And that's really all there is to it. As soon as cron runs past the date that this was scheduled to run, it will go ahead and execute this or trigger this action, which is going to publish this content. And this is just one example of how you can use the scheduling component. You can also come in here and, for instance, under Publish Content Action, you could schedule something to be run. And you could select a specific node ID. So let's say you created it. You created a node or a new blog post today, and you want it to be automatically scheduled on Friday. You could come in here select the Friday date and time you want, put in a value here and put in the node ID and schedule it, and then you could schedule it for, an, for a specific time as well. So you can manually schedule one-off events to, or one-off components to run as well. And it was nice and short today, and that's all. Tomorrow we'll come back with a couple other, or a new topic altogether, and we'll go from there. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, as I mentioned before. Thanks for watching The Daily Dose of Drupal.